Roger Federer waving that Wilson wand like only he can do. <laughs> the guy is so talented, it's beyond a joke. Yes, I know I'm the greatest. <laughs> As we all know, the debate of who is the greatest tennis player of all time is constantly being discussed between the big three. There are things Federer has done that Djokovic and Nadal haven't done, and there are things that Djokovic has done that Nadal and Federer haven't done that set them apart from each other. But there's one thing that Nadal has done that Djokovic and Federer haven't done that shows why he is not only a clay court player, but a well-rounded superstar that can change the way he plays given the surface he is playing on. And that's why, in 2010, Rafael Nadal was able to win a Grand Slam on every single surface, something Federer Djokovic has never done. Enjoy his highlights in the finals of these tournaments. Oh yeah, and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like the better player, I think, right now. Oh, that's a bad leave. First strike, Nadal. Oh, wonderful. The trademark. Is there any better? Forehand down the line. Unbelievable shot. It's wide. Nadal does take the opening set. Boy, oh boy, they are standing in front of our commentary box and around court, Philippe Chatrier. Stunning from Nadal. Oh. He's made it. He's bruised, certainly, from what we've seen so far. Missed it. Nadal breaks to love. But this time, as Nadal looks skyward, he has the double break. It's wide. Nadal leads two sets to love. He has lost one match from two sets up, Nadal. The worrying thing for Serdling, it was against Federer. But now Nadal is playing too good. He's definitely playing much deeper than he did last year, Nadal. And he's... He has missed another, not even looking at the mark, certainly. Still no blip from Nadal. Little Buana from Nadal. 
That'll do it. Nadal holds to love. And fitting, perhaps. But on Bjorn Borg's birthday... See, this is where Burnich has a real chance. A belief system. Nadal gets the first break in this championship match. He doesn't want to be where he was that point. That is for sure. And Rafa Nadal looking at his box with a pump fist. And he stormed through the last three games to take the first hit top five of all time with the rankings. I'm going to, at worst, five. <laughs> He's really able to use his physical strength. him back in the court if nothing else. He's on the points that the British wants to be playing. I was burned by those passing shots many times by the likes of uh, Matt Vlander and Guillermo Vilas. They'd hit these passing Birdie shots. to up. serve first. Oh. He was going to challenge it. Decided not to. He very nearly stopped playing. But when he saw that his shot went in and that Burditch was in trouble, thought the better of it. This is a very quick call he's got to make. Yeah, Paul. Oh, 
That one dropped in. Crowd again thought it was going to go long. It didn't. And Rafa Nadal with another forehand ends up on the turf and picks himself up as a Wimbledon champion. What a start. What a game. It's incredible. There's anticipation. And he's broken. a little special <laughs> magnificent <laughs> so Nadal takes the opening set Remarkable, just a stunning point. Oh, he's made it as well. Take that. Two can play this game. And the dead run, full stretch. Rocket. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, as is the reaction. Djokovic still believes. And he stole that away from Djokovic as well. Oh no, there haven't been too many of those from Djokovic, but that's a costly one.
goodness. What a way to serve yourself to success. That is massive. And it's opportune. It is unreal. <laughs> no matter how many times he does it, you still marvel. I mean, what could Djokovic have done better in that point? The greatest, unquestionably, he was tonight. Nadal is the US Open champion. The trophy cabinet is complete. What a final. What a tremendous champion, and Novak Djokovic, of course, as gracious in defeat tonight as we have ever seen him. But it's all about this man right now.